if there's one thing I'm a sucker for, that is Weanling Stud Colts. And I'm going to have some new faces to introduce you guys to today. So stay tuned. That's going to come later in the video. You've got some new horses to meet. They Look missed us. Right They're they cute, huh? Tiny. Okay, good morning everyone. It is Amri and we are going to have a week full of awesome adventures this week. So stay tuned for all the upcoming videos. We are uh, hooked up and about to be loaded up headed to Flagstaff. I know we just barely got to Wickenburg, but my dad needs help moving all his cows. It's time to wean the babies. So we're going to take you guys along. We're going to be hauling up there to go help him with that this week. And the nice thing about what me and Cisco do, and the nice thing about my dad having such a big trailer, is we can put a bunch of horses in it and take our work with us. So we're gonna be taking all the client horses and then the horses that we need to help my dad with, and we're gonna go up to Flagstaff and do that, still get to ride our horses just for a few days. And while we're up there, we've got new faces for me to me. I haven't even met these horses myself. But you guys are going to get to meet some new horses. And then we also need to do a Fred update because I know I forgot about him the last time we left. So stay tuned for that. We are doing a few more things before we're getting ready to go. But we have the trailer hooked up. Let me show you what's in it and what we're going to take to flag. And then we're going to be hitting the road. And I'll show you all the horses we're going to take with us. Okay, so we've got horse cookies always. Cisco's got his medicine bag. We we'll always have that on hand too. Then we just got all of our saddles. There's some things I need to drop off at my dad's house. But all of our gear just to be able to ride. Um, some of our desensitizing things. So when we're up there, we can keep working with all the horses we're bringing to. All of our bits and reins and halters and shaps, all that stuff. And then... We've got our clothes, jackets. I know it's going to be kind of cold, and I've heard they've been getting rain. So we made sure to throw in our high sea boots. Both me and Cisco have a pair of these. They have been awesome. We've been getting to use them a lot more lately because of the weather change. And if I know the weather's getting cold everywhere, so if you guys need a pair of good muck rain boots, definitely check out high sea dot com they have a hundred year warranty they're super good quality me and cisco have been loving them and if you guys want you a pair you can use the code ca horses and go to high dot com i'll put all the info right here the qr code and the link and go check that out and you can get yourself a pair of boots at a discount and then it also goes back to help us at no cost to you but these are a nice, good pair of boots. If you want one, uh, we have been loving ours. So we can testify that they are a good pair of boots. Okay, so that's all the stuff we have loaded in the trailer. Now we just got to get the horses. We are taking 10 horses with us to Flagstaff. And thankfully, my dad has this awesome trailer he got a while back when I was in high school. And so we can do things like this where we load them all up. And we're not taking everyone. There are a lot of horses staying. I think there's still like seven horses staying down here. We got someone coming to take care of them. And we'll take the horses that we need up there and the horses that kind of need to keep going on with training because we will have time in the evenings or we'll, we'll make time in the evenings to get to all of our client horses. And then I did have to move uh, my little greenhouse out of here, but that's okay. It's just in a different horse trailer and I got someone taking care of my plants too. Okay, so the plants will be living in this trailer while we're gone and I've got a lot that are ready to be picked. So I'm going to pick them before we go up and give them all to my dad because he loves tomatoes. Okay, we got them and let's go get the horses now. Okay, got everyone loaded. So let's see who we all have. Got Charlie Brown, Burlap, Butters, Bumblebee, K 
carrot cake, Hank, blue jean, Nelly, Billy, and Roxy in the back. Hi guys. Okay, so that's everyone in the trailer that we're taking. I'll do a quick tour of the horses that we're leaving. But there is a little bit of movement. Um, we do like to head to tail them if you can see. So someone, you know, every other, we kind of slant them like that. And that helps them haul so much easier. It distributes the weight really good on the trailer so we don't blow as many tires. And they just fit more comfortably in there. This trailer, the most we ever fit in here is 10. So we're at our max right now. But that's okay, we don't have a super long drive and it's not a hot day. But the other thing I wanna point out that I love, you might hear a few shuffles here and there and some movement, but out of the 10 horses, five of these guys are mares and they are nose to butt with all the geldings and I haven't heard one squeal, I haven't heard one horse kick the trailer or anything like that. We don't put up with that kind of stuff. Um, you know, mares and geldings, they gotta get along. I know some people that don't haul their mares and geldings together, they like to separate them. And I can understand there's different situations for different circumstances, but we really like getting these colts at a young age because then they never learn that they are a mare and they get to act like that. Um, they just have to get along with the group. We've got mares and geldings all in here, spread out, no squealing and kicking, and that's how we like it. And, you know, our horses overall, they're very well-rounded and we don't let them act like they deserve a reason to kick and squeal because there's no reason to do that kind of stuff. Plus, it ruins your trailers, it ruins your gears, and horses like that end up hurting themselves a lot. So, these guys don't do that kind of stuff. Okay, we are headed out. Cisco's gonna be in a different rig because he needs to drop that off and then I'll pick him up where he drops it off. It's gonna need to get some mechanical work so it worked out in a good timing. We're off Milo. Staff. Let's get all the horses unloaded and then I have two new horses to go meet myself and intro introduce everyone to. is put in their pens and now for the most exciting part the part I've been waiting for I want to go meet these new Colts and I want to introduce you guys to them I'm gonna fill you in later let's go take a look at them and then I'll let you know the whole backstory and everything and they're in the same pen as Celine Wasabi so let me get the camera turned around let's go say hi to Celine Wasabi and let's meet the new guys and they do have names so let me introduce you to them and then I'll tell you their names hi guys so these are Sully and Wasabi that you guys already know, but we have added two more weanlings to the group. That would be these guys back there. They still have their halters on because they're not as friendly yet. Did you guys miss me? I missed you guys. What are you doing? You're so dirty. I'm going to have to brush you off today. Hey cuties. Oh, you're so cute. And hi Wasabi. How are you doing, huh? Okay, I'm gonna give you guys attention later, but I gotta go show everyone on YouTube the new ones. Okay, so here are the two new weanlings. 
They are both stud colts. So we have four stud colts this year. And these two guys are going to be blue roans. So we have all roans this year. These guys did not come from Pitzers. They came from a different place. They've had some haltering work, but they're not as friendly as the other guys yet. That's why they still have their halters on. And they do have names. I went ahead and chose names from our other name suggestions. So this lighter guy that has the back white foot, he is Goose. And this guy in the back, the darker one, that's Rooster. Oh, Rooster don't want Sailor too close. Sailor thinks he's helping me right now. So, these are the group of weanlings we have. You guys already knew the other two, but I was so excited. This is my first time seeing them in person. So, this guy right here, that one is Goose. And then this guy, the darker one with the all solid feet, that one is Rooster. And we got those names from the other, the same YouTube suggestions as these guys. I really liked those names as well. So when we had two more babies, I went ahead and picked those. And they'll need to have some work done so that they become just as friendly as these guys. But we'll have to get to that a little bit later, just because we weren't expecting them. Hi, Sully. Yes, hi. Hello, Mr. Rooster. You are beautiful. Yes, you are. They look pretty dark right now, but they will shed out to be blue roans. But then this guy is Goose. And we'll be able to tell him apart because he has the little white snip. It's kind of dirty right now, but he has that white snip right there. The back white foot. And I'm not sure if their brands will show up super good right now because they're just a little dirty. See if I can zoom in and show you guys. I don't know if it's working, but yeah, those are the two new weanlings that I was so excited to come meet in person myself and show you guys. So Goose and Rooster and Sully and Wasabi, all the little babies this year. Uh, boys and sailor you think you're helping but we're not doing anything hi wasabi hi wasabi oh did you miss me did you miss my scratches oh yeah good boys hi guys Okay, so now that you guys have got to see these cute little blue roan boys back here and meet them along with me for the first time, let me fill you in on all the details and why we ended up with them, where they came from, and what we plan on doing with them. So, as you guys know, we like to buy weanlings. That's kind of been something fun that me and my dad have done for a long time. And when you get them that young, you can do all the work with them. And it's really fun to just kind of take them up. For me, I got a lot of satisfaction out of doing that. I love seeing them go from weanling age to five-year-olds and seeing all the progress you can make in between. And for me, I have been able to make money doing it. So if I can make money doing something I love, it's a win-win. And on top of that, you got to start with good quality colts. So that's kind of a little backstory about that. But about, you know, almost a year, not quite full a year, but earlier this year in January, I started to notice a YouTube channel called The Painted Desert. If you guys are not familiar with them, I'll put their QR code right here and go check them out on YouTube. So I started to become familiar with them and they show a lot of the J Hart horses, which um, Jerry Wynn, owner of the J Hart horses and the J Hart ranch also has a YouTube. I'll put his QR code right here as well. So that is where these guys came from. They are J Hart horses that came from Navajo, Arizona. And I started to notice them more when I started to look back on some of my old pictures. I realized that I've actually trained a few for other people without even knowing it. 
and I liked all the horses that I had trained and I like all the other Jay Hart horses I've seen around. So I started to do more research, look into the breeding and the pedigree of them and I really liked it. It was something new. Uh, I'm not super familiar with it or I haven't ridden a lot of those lines, but I liked it and I've been wanting to try something new. And so they kind of caught my attention. And then the other thing that stuck out is they have a lot of roans and I'm a sucker for roans, but I specifically have been wanting and dreaming of a blue roan stud colt. Not that I will leave him a stud. Uh, these guys will probably all be gelded just because for resale purposes and for personal use, geldings are the easiest to get along with and studs just require a lot of maintenance, but that's a different story. But I had this dream of having a blue roan um, colt that I could go on with and do all the training myself. And so when I saw that that's what they have and they have quite a few of them, I went ahead and reached out and asked how I could be put on a wait list to get one of their colts. So Jerry let me know if I paid my deposit that I could be put on a wait list and have first dibs on the next blue roan colt that was born. He even had like a yearling for sale at the time, but I was like, you know what? I think I want, I want to start at the ground zero with the baby. So I'll wait and save room for a baby. And I kind of filled my dad in on this plan too. And he's like, yeah, you know what? I want to try a horse from a different line as well. So put me on the wait list also. And he kind of specifically wanted a blue roan also. So I go ahead and message him. We get put on the wait list for some colts, specifically blue roan colts. And this is way back earlier in the year. So we don't know for sure if this is going to happen this year. I told him I'm even okay waiting. You know, I'll wait for whenever it does happen. So I tell him, we'll wait, we're not in a big hurry. You know, we want colts that have some breeding that we want and like, and specifically we want some blue roans. So the year goes on, we kind of forget about it a little bit. We're seeing some other posts made and some other colts born, but none of, none of them are blue roan stud colts. And that's what we want specifically. So we go to the pitzer sale and you know, we don't really think that maybe there's any of these blue roans left. And so we're like, my dad just goes ahead and buys some colts from the pitzer sale. And he usually likes to get, you know, a max of like two a year. Just that's a good number to stick to for us in our program. But about a week ago, I get a message from Jerry and he lets me know that there are two blue roan stud colts available and Henson can bring them over and drop them off at my dad's house in just a few days. And I call my dad and I let him know that, hey, there's these colts and they're available. Do you want them right now? Or uh, should we pass? Should we wait till next year? We looked at their papers and their breeding and we're like, you know what? We like them. We like the looks of these colts. Let's go ahead and get them. Even though that means we're gonna have four colts this year, we got our dream horses. So the deal with these guys is one of them is mine and one's my dad but we don't know whose is whose yet because after talking to my dad and kind of talking more about these colts, you know, we're both really excited for them. And my dad's like, what if one of them ends up being a horse that I want to keep for a lifetime horse or vice versa? Me, I like a different horse. And my dad specifically wants to keep very gentle horses, even if they're not the most athletic, as long as they're gentle enough that anyone can ride them, he can kind of have them around for grandkids or friends to come out and use. That's what he's after. I like gentle horses also. I want all my horses to be gentle, but I would like more of a more athletic rope horse or show horse or something like that. But either way, it doesn't really matter because if one of them does turn out to be a horse that I want to have around for a long time, if my dad keeps it, I can always use it also. So one of these colts is mine, one's my dad. We don't know for the moment. So for the moment, we are gonna be partners on them. We are super excited to get colts from a different ranch and kind of try some different bloodlines. I'm really happy and I'm glad that a lot of my dreams have come true this year. I'm going to have two blue roan colts to work with and one of them is going to be mine. And that's something that I've been wanting for a while. So I'm glad that that could come true. Thank you, Jay Hart Quarter Horses. And thank you, Painted Desert for helping me along this process and making that happen. I hope that you guys also enjoy watching our progress with these guys and I am going to be showing all the steps I take with them and all their progress here on YouTube just like I did for the other Colts. I'm really happy to take you guys along. I hope you guys are just as excited as we are. So welcome Goose and Rooster to the family. 
If you guys are not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be the first to see all our new updates. We have lots more adventures coming this week. We got to do some cows. We're going to go check on Fred. I forgot to show everyone a Fred update before I left, and I know a lot of you guys are missing him. And then for sure, we're going to be doing updates on all the new weanling guys. We got a lot of horses to work with and a lot of horses to help. And I'm really excited to take everyone along and show you guys all that process. So let's welcome all the new babies to the family. Mm -hmm.